Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here to talk about Joshua DTV, Joshua Evans, which is Colleen Ballinger's ex-husband. He recently came out and said something on Twitter that I found quite interesting, so I wanted to share my thoughts and talk about him for a few minutes. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so the first update that I want to provide to you has to do with Johnny, and he shared something on Twitter that Joshua has blocked him. And I'm not going to give you guys my thoughts on this, but I want you guys to use the comment section down below to give me your thoughts on why Joshua might have blocked him. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with it? What do you think? maybe led up to this decision. And my opinion on it is a little different. It might not be what you guys are thinking that it is. So I'm going to read the comments and see what you guys have to say. And I will provide some more information on how I feel about it in my next video. Number two, I want to talk for a minute and echo something that Adam McIntyre said in a recent video that he did. Joshua is vital to the Colleen Ballinger situation that's unfolding right now. Simply, you know, to, to address the obvious, Joshua has been inappropriate himself. Some of those things he has publicly talked about and, you know, um, addressed and people still have their feelings about it and that's totally fine but as far as the conversation that is happening about colleen her content her live shows some of the decisions that went into what she did during these live shows the order in which things were performed for him to be able to come out and confirm that what people are thinking is actually true because he was 100% fully involved in her Miranda shows, her Miranda content, her Colleen content, everything that she was doing on YouTube back then, he was with her all of the time. They resided together. They went through content ideas together. He performed during her live shows with her. So no matter what emotions people have surrounding Joshua, he is absolutely vital to this and I hope that he can continue to talk. I know that he said on Twitter how it's it was very hard for a while for him to be able to say anything because her army of fans would shut him down, berate him, and essentially try to make his life a living hell online, so he just stayed silent about it. Now, obviously, things have changed, and he is approaching this to the best of his ability within the means of his own mental health. And I hope that that can continue. I think a lot of people are finally coming to the realization that Colleen is not a good person. She has made extremely problematic content over the years and blamed it on a character and she has built an internet empire off of being parasocially in inappropriate with her minor fans. So I do really hope that he can continue to hold this conversation and confirm some of the things that people are talking about to be true because to hear from him who was so heavily involved is a really big part of this story. And as Adam said, we can all call out Josh, but that doesn't mean that he does not have a vital role to play in everything that is unfolding right now with Colleen. The final thing to do with Josh that I want to talk about, and then I'm going to talk about Trisha Paytas for a quick second. Josh came out and confirmed that it was by design that Colleen would perform Beyonce single ladies while she had dark face paint on. He confirmed that that was done by design. It was intentional that that song was performed while she had dark face paint on her face. And that ties back to the uh, previous point that I made. 
it is so nice to have him who was so heavily involved be able to confirm this because we can look at everything, all the content, all the tweets, all the stuff that is being shown, but to have someone that was right there by her side who was, you know, c completely involved in her day-to-day -day happenings and content creation and show ideas and all of this stuff, I just think that it's absolutely vital to the story and it's nice to have him come out and confirm these things. The next thing I want to talk about is Trisha Paytas. So Trisha Paytas was recently on a podcast. I don't know what podcast it was. It could have been one of her own podcasts. I don't really care. But she came out and said that Colleen sent her an, you know, uh, a text that she was a coward and she was wrong for sending those NSFW photos of Trisha from her paywall site to the minors in her group chat. Well, it was confirmed she sent them. She sent me an apology on that Saturday after I made the video. I made the video July 3rd, and then she sent me an apology on, like, Saturday, July, like, 8th or 9th. And she's like, yeah, I was a coward. I lied to you. Like, I should have just told you the truth when you asked me about the photos. Like, I was a coward, and that was it. So she, like, apologized for it. So she's like, she definitely sent them to that guy. They're not denying that she sent them. They're denying the black face, which was green face or whatever, um, in the, in the show, but they're not denying the thing. So I have to say allegedly, I guess for like legal reasons, because like, aside from hearing that she sent Trisha this message and that stupid ukulele song that she released, um, her silence is speaking so loudly right now. I, I realize that, you know, what can you really say? And she's, got her attorneys most likely advising her to keep her mouth shut. I just find it also interesting that you could do all of these things on the internet and then the one opportunity that she had to do the right thing, she wanted to release a song. Someone else speculated that maybe Colleen is making this uh, like a documentary for, for herself and will release it later on down the line of what it feels like to be canceled and, you know, <clears throat> use this as another way to make herself money, kind of like she did with the ukulele song by putting it on Spotify and all of that kind of stuff. She could be filming content right now, but if she decides to release any kind of documentary or video surrounding all of this stuff, I mean, who on earth is going to watch that and actually listen to what she has to say or try to validate her feelings in all of this? The woman is a monster, and it is my opinion based on covering her for over two years now. I think that she is a monster. I have seen the red flags from her from very, very early on. And I think that she's an awful individual. I find the whole thing interesting. And I wanted to talk about Josh because people have a lot of feelings about Joshua DTV, Joshua Evans, whatever. There are a lot of feelings surrounding this guy. And that is fine. Whatever feelings you have about him, that's totally fine. But as far as the value that he is bringing to this situation by us being able to hear from him is satisfying. It is very satisfying, especially for the people that Colleen had direct interactions with and hurt on a very personal, deep level. So either way, I wanted to throw this opinion out there Tell me how you guys feel about all of this down below and about the Johnny thing. I will respond to those comments in my next video. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.